morning friends welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new my name is heather i'm a homeschooling mom of three kids elementary middle and high school age we are going to be having a busy day today it's actually our passion project day however i have an appointment for my car this morning to get a sticker and we're going to be going to get um, some school supplies back to school shopping because we need a few things and I also have my live stream this afternoon, so I'm not sure how much school we're going to be getting done or passion project work we're going to be getting done, but I thought I would take you along with me um, for more for the back to school shopping, but we'll see how the day progresses. We have to leave in about 15 minutes, so the kids are grabbing some of their work that they can do at the dealership while I'm waiting for a sticker and then and then we will head to Target and Staples, I think. I don't really want to drive all the way up to Walmart. It's like another 20 minutes. <laughs> and so we'll see though, because they, their notebooks are like 35 cents, whereas the ones at Target are a dollar and the ones at Staples are 50 cents. So we will see what the prices look like at Target. I do have a 20% off discount code um, because I'm a verified teacher. It's open to homeschoolers. Uh, and they're doing their Target teacher days right now, I believe through August 26th. I will leave a link for that in the description box um, so that you can get verified as a teacher. You can use any paperwork that you may send into your state. You can use like an HSLDA um, teacher ID card. You can use a teacher ID card that you have created. Um, there's, there's a lot of different options, but uh, I was verified years ago, and I just use the paperwork that we have to send into the state each year. So I have to get everybody ready, and then we will be on our way. Okay, so we are done at the dealership. I got my sticker. Everything is good. These, these guys were troopers hanging out, and now we are at Target, and we're going to look around. Probably, I don't know if we should have gone to Staples first or not, but... No, Target's the best. <laughs> So that's what we're going to do now. I'm hoping for some good prices and some good selection because it seems like the last couple of years that we've come, there, there hasn't been a lot, huh? Yeah, well, I think it's mostly been just sold out. Yeah, so we'll see. I'm not feeling very good about the ability to find school stuff today <laughs> because there is nothing here, really. There's a few things. So it was a successful trip, saved like $35, so that Target coupon was definitely worth it. My kids are pretty tired, <laughs> except for Lucy. Lucy's ready to go. We are going to stop over at Staples. The notebooks here were horrible, very expensive. I still kind of want to avoid going up to Walmart although the notebooks are a lot cheaper there. I'm looking for some Micron pens so I don't have to purchase them online, and then um, we will just see what else they have over at Staples. Okay, so we are back home. It is almost two o'clock. We've actually been home for a couple of hours now. We ate lunch. I'm getting ready for my live stream um, in just a few minutes, and then I am going to go through all of the stuff that we ended up getting for school supplies, it wasn't too much, uh, but there were a few things that we needed, and there are a few things that we still need. I did place an order yesterday on Erin Condren for a new narration journal for Emma. Jack has one, Lucy has one, but Emma needed one. So it was a successful trip, but man, the stuff was really expensive. I also had to get like shampoo and stuff for everybody, which that cost quite a bit as well. Um, so I'm going to do my live stream and then I will come back and share what I got. Okay, so the first few things I actually got over at Staples, I had thought that I would pick up some notebooks there instead of driving up to Walmart, 
but they didn't have any of those 50 cent notebooks <laughs> that I saw online. So I don't know, maybe I'm just too early. I don't know. Um, I got some air dry clay for Emma. She wanted this because we've done a lot with like this clay stuff that you have to bake. I can't remember what it's called, but it just makes the house smell horrible. I can't imagine that it's healthy for you either. <laughs> um, we got a bunch of post-it notes. These are for our wall of questions. If you have read The Brave Learner by Julie Bogart, she has this project in there where you take a day and your kids just write questions and put them on the wall. And then at the end of the day, you can answer them or you can put them in a pile and answer a few each evening. We tend to have a <laughs> wall of questions for many, many weeks. And then we just will randomly take some questions off. So everybody gets a post-it note color and uh, they will put their questions up and we will answer them as we go. I'm also, I'm kind of considering doing a Kanban board, which I've seen from um, the YouTube channel Heart Breathings. And so she is an author that I've followed for a while, but she talks about this Kanban board that she sets up for her goals. And that sounds kind of interesting. I'm not sure that I would do that with the post-it notes. I feel like that's a lot of post-it notes each each quarter, but it is it is something that I've considered. Anyways, Lucy chose these because they're nice and bright and it has a blue color, which is her favorite color at the moment. Then I did get two Micron pens. I got a 0.25 and then a 0.35. I have used Micron pens in the past when I used to do a lot of scrapbooking. However, I'm looking for a new pen for planning and I like a black pen, but I like a thin, uh, I don't know, a narrow thin pen. So I'm going to try these. It's primarily for um, my goal planner, which is this Leuchtstrom notebook, and also my book journal because I just need a, a thinner pen when I'm writing. I feel like I just need a thinner pen. Anyways, so these aren't really school supplies, but it is something that I got for myself. Now for all of the Target stuff, I did buy a big box of Kleenex. This is part of that 20% off discount. So I did pick up a box of these and this will probably last us most of the winter, I hope. Hopefully we won't be too sick. Uh, so that is the first thing. Not at all school related, but I got this native hair shampoo uh, for Jack and Lucy and then a conditioner also for Lucy. Um, <laughs> we've never used this one before, but I try to find things that are not full of chemicals. Uh, so this looked good. This is the deodorant that we use as well. So, well, not Lucy, but everybody else. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Also not a school supply, but something that I got. All right. So the school supplies, I don't know. I'm, I don't have all that many, it seems like. So I got this candle care kit. It's just a snuffer. I don't know what a wick dipper is, but I did get that as well. I don't have a snuffer for my candles. We don't light candles in the summer, but it'll be good once fall comes around. I did get two of these file folders that kind of are separated, one for Lucy and one for Emma. They, I, I was looking for one for Jack as well, but I couldn't find one um, that was kind of like boy colors. I don't know if I will necessarily need one that much for Lucy, but what I do is when I'm doing school with the kids, uh, anything that they, it, that is like loose paper or a craft or something like that, I will stick in a file folder. And I usually keep that in my file ca filing cabinet. Um, but I was thinking this might be good as well and I can keep it on my desk. Um, I have, well, I'll insert a picture <laughs> of where I can stick this, but right now, I am just using these wide bottom folders that kind of just stand up from Erin Condren. I was going to get more of these, but 
I couldn't find them on their website, so I don't think they have them anymore. So I'm just going to use this one for Jack. And then the other two I will use for Lucy. I do like that it has a snap and I think that I'll probably be able to fit quite a bit of stuff in here. Or if I can't fit a lot or you know I can take stuff out as I need to but I like to keep pretty much everything and then what I do is I will put everything into a bin for the year but the important things I will keep out for our teacher review because we have to do teacher reviews each year showing progress in the required subject areas. So this just helps me keep things organized. Then I got three of these D-ring binders. They're just the half inch binders and I love these. I have a ton of binders but I wanted some smaller ones. These are primarily for Lucy's worksheets for her language arts and her science and uh I think those were the only two things, but I couldn't find any small binders this year in my binder storage. So I got three more. I think I just needed two for Lucy and then one maybe for Jack because I have all of their stuff right now in one inch binders and they're just a little bit too big for the milk crates that I have everybody's work in. I do have a whole video on how I organize instructor's guides and all of the work in the milk crates. So I will leave a link for that in the description box, but I knew that I needed some smaller binders and I really like the D-ring binders. They tend to be a little bit easier to flip pages. That's just my personal opinion. I got some gum, which again, not, not at all for homeschooling. Um, Emma got a three subject notebook and this is for science and I think it's one of those smart notebooks actually if I'm thinking about it. Flag, scan, and study your notes with a five-star study app. I don't know if she will do that but she wanted something um, for notes and lab notes and like quizzes and tests uh, that she takes. So we just got Good old five star three subject notebook. It was actually really hard to find this at Target. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm just super early to buy things. That is possible, but I have waited until the middle of August and the end of August before, and there's still nothing there. I know they put out the school stuff usually right out right after the 4th of July, but I don't know. So she got a three subject notebook. I had actually thought about getting one of the three subject notebooks from Erin Condren, but I realized that they, oh, they're they only in a seven by nine size and I really wanted eight and a half by 11. So I don't know, I'm going to have to look and see if that's something that they have or they have had in the past and maybe it just is not on right now. I got two mixed media well, this, this one is for Emma, mixed media uh, drawing notebook. Uh, it's a bummer because like all of the notebooks <laughs> have imperfections and they're so expensive, you would think that they could just stack them well, but I guess people go through them and things get bent and whatnot. Again, I usually purchase, or I have for the past several years, I've been purchasing blank notebooks from Erin Condren because the paper quality is amazing but they don't have that option to just get blank pages anymore. They do have dot grid which I considered for Emma for her graphic design um, but I need to talk to her more about that and then I will probably wait for like Black Friday um, when they do a big sale around Black Friday to purchase that if it's something that she wants. And then Lucy chose this drawing notebook just plain paper. <laughs> they were quite expensive though and uh, just a couple dollars less than the Erin Condren notebooks and I feel like the Erin Condren paper is better so that's why I tend to buy them. Also the coils are better on the Erin Condren notebooks. Lucy chose a pen. She usually gets a fancy pen each year. Last year she had one with like a pom-pom on the end I think. This is the Monterey. It's a ballpoint pen. 
it looks, it's pretty uh, sturdy, heavy, so it'll be interesting. She doesn't usually use a pen for too many things, but she really wanted that, so she got that. And the last thing in this bag are these Mondo Llama watercolor brush pens for painting and calligraphy, and they have some blending brushes. These are for Emma. She is wanting to do more with blending and such, so I am not an artist by any means but she does a ton of art and um really wanted these these were like 20 bucks though so quite expensive i don't know how good the quality is we've gotten mondo llama stuff in the past but never this so we will see um, but i really liked all of the colors that they had and yeah Okay, and then the last bag of stuff, we got a lot of markers. We had to replace all of our markers. So the kids chose markers. I don't know who got what. Um, so we have classic, a couple of fine line classic, broad line classic, and broad line bold and bright. I feel like, I wonder if they had fine line bold and bright as well. Um, we needed to replace these, so we got these. A lot of glue. Lucy loves making slime, and we had gone through pretty much all of the glue. Last year for her birthday, she wanted glue to make slime, so we bought her two of those giant jugs, one of clear glue and one of, um, I don't know, whatever the white glue is. I don't know what that's called, just regular glue. Um, both Elmer's brand. And she used all of those to make various slime, but she also used pretty much every single bottle of glue that we had as well. And when we went to do vision boards and other <laughs> crafty type things, we didn't have any glue. I don't know what happened to it all except it must have all gone to slime. So we are replenishing the stocks of glue. We also got um, some new watercolor paints and the kids love to do watercolors. Uh, they love to use acrylic paint as well. And I probably do need to get new acrylic paint, but um, we had used up all of the watercolor paint, so I had to replace that. The kids also got new crayons because we do have crayons, but it seems like most of them are broken <laughs> or the colors that we need are gone. So they each got a box of crayons. And then the last two things are some highlighters. These are primarily for Emma um, and maybe Jack will want, want to use them as well. And then erasers just for pencils. I have a ton of Ticonderoga pencils, so we didn't need that. I thought Emma got some pens but now i can't find them i guess either she didn't get them or we have misplaced them already i will have to ask her because i thought that she had gotten some of those um oh what are they called friction pens maybe is, is what they're called i can't remember um but that is all that we got from Target and Staples for our back to school shopping. So the kids will probably get these on our second first day of school, which I've, I think I've talked about it in a couple of places. We had our slow start already, which was July 10th. And um, that was just, we're taking like a, a slow getting ready for the year, working on our rhythms, getting into all of the new resources, going through all of the books, all of that kind of stuff, trying to figure out what is our AM routine going to be? What are the things that we need to work on daily? And just trying to get through that stuff. And then, so we're doing six weeks on, one week off. And then after our first week off, it's the week that all of the public school kids go back to school. So we're going to have some not back to school traditions as well as some back to school traditions, things that we do every year. One of those things is I kind of like pack a bunch of stuff in their backpacks and um, even though they know <laughs> for the most part what it is, they still kind of have fun opening those and I always try and get a couple of things that they don't know about, just extra things. So we will probably be doing that at that point after our first week 
off for the school year just as something fun. And I will share those back to school and not back to school traditions in a video um, probably next week. But yes, so it was a good day. It was a busy day. It's 3.30. I'm exhausted. I need to get my office cleaned up. It's kind of a mess at the moment. Um, <laughs> It is what it is, but uh, yes. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to grab uh, the discount to Target. If you do shop at Target, I feel like 20% off is a great, uh, a great coupon, especially <laughs> for back to school stuff. It does, it's all very expensive. I'm not sure, but I feel like I also got 20% off the um household stuff that I got like the shampoo and I bought some eye drops and everything I need to kind of look online and see if there's a breakdown because my receipt didn't show it just showed that I got like 35 or 38 dollars off of my purchase and that seems like quite a bit for what I purchased so that was school supply related so um, it might be for more than just school supplies this year in the past it's only been school supplies and cleaning supplies but Anyways, so again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.